happen on on the morning express on Africa Day, where we bring music live to you. And this is the acoustic version of uh, Pomon Pagabuje. As we pay tribute to one of Africa's greatest artists, the big man, the very, very, very big man, Pepe Kale. And the man doing all that is none other than Clive Monamukundu. Clive, welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks, uh, big man, uh, and uh, greetings to Zimbabwe, and uh, happy Africa Day. Happy Africa Day, indeed. And in the studio, I'm not alone. I'm joined uh, by SFM presenters Isaac Nyati, who's always in his own world, apparently. Always in his own world. Is this an African world? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it's yeah. for once that you're in no, an African world. No, every time you say that, it's also part of the African world, but mine's a bigger world. <laughs> yeah, because I, I believe we know in Africa. What could be bigger than Africa? Uh, because we are what could be bigger than Africa? Because, because, because we are mm. all over the world. So, so we are bigger. Okay. And I am part of that world as well. Yeah, mm. it's a lost world yours. <laughs> and of course, uh, the <laughs> lady... Hey, good! The lady is... Hi! 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 The lady... Have a good day! Thank you! Yeah. Yeah. No, no, Great no, no! You do matters of the heart and your yeah. program has gone viral on yeah, Africa, yeah. creating a lot of controversy and everything. Yeah. Love on the African aspect. Mm -hmm. how, how, how has it been? You, you interact with listeners. Yeah. Um, um, is, is love... In an African context, any different from love from anywhere else? Yeah, I, I think that's what I figured out. That you know, even in terms of relationships and and all of that, it's different the way we operate in Africa. And uh, I, what I've learned from the program is that I think we should try to stop copying and uh, trying to take in the Western or different other uh, different other t types of uh, way we operate in terms of relationships and just celebrate the way we do it, you know, the African way, and I've mm. learned so much from our listeners, and on this day, I think, uh, this, the day we just get to celebrate being African, being proud of it, I think, and not trying to compare ourselves with other people and say, no, but they do it this way, they do that but, way, but just but, accepting. But do not our listeners sort of take um, lessons from the worst, the West, from the East, in terms of relationships, do you feel that um, the complications thereof are because of the influence from the exactly, West? Exactly, exactly, Gu. I think it, it, that, that that's the problem. Is that we're trying to incorporate uh, the Western culture and the way they operate, and forgetting, you know, the way we've been doing it, and the fact that it has worked. And the problems that we're having now is because we're trying to incorporate so many aspects from other different, you know, areas, and not, you know, and putting down the way we operate, you mm -hmm. know, and and. And that, that's a very important, you know, point. Mm. Well, you, well, you, well, you do a lot of social programs, yes, Isaac Nyati. Yeah, indeed, you can say that again. And I've even now so students forget it sometimes. But when you mention some of these, some of those things, I discover that when we look at the Western culture, people always say that let's just we discover what the way Africans were doing it. Exactly. And when you go to the African way, you discover that no, we we're doing it the right way. After and it works. It's good yeah. like and, and it, it works. works. Did it? When you look at social systems, <laughs> Mono, 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 you're, you're, yeah. you are an artist. You are a musician, and a lot of musicians draw inspiration from daily occurrences and, and relationships are one of them. As a musician, do you feel that um, 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 the African way works in terms of relationship? Is it, is, is, is it, is it what people should turn to really? Yeah, I think uh, copying the West in those points which could have copied off for. Uh, <laughs> those people, the way they run their relationships is... Uh, if you... The, I remember the first time I went to United States of America, that was 2003, and uh, someone was... Uh, I was discussing with somebody and I told him that I was... Um, that time I think I was about 15 years in marriage and he was asking me, is it a boot to divorce in Africa? Because in, in their world, uh, if you get married, you can go down, chat up, you for a year or two, divorce. Mm -hmm. uh, the same thing applies to pastors, to men of God, uh, gospel singers, everybody. You know, but uh, his state wife, his fourth wife. So it means that uh, here in Africa, when it comes to marriages and love matters, uh, we are way ahead. So there's no need to copy those people because we take out to copy Madofu. Mm. So let's celebrate our, our own day. Mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Very interesting coming from Gertrude Jaricha, who <laughs> we've that? now called the, the sex pet, really. Yeah, and yeah, of course, yeah. Isaac Nyati, who does our social programming here on ZBC SFM at 9.30. He will be in the studio to give us the program, The Morning Mirror, on a Monday, as well as on Africa Day. And of course, we have Clive Monom Kudu to just take us through the African landscape, through music, through life and all that. But in the meantime, we give you more of African music. <laughs> This is definitely the group that defied apartheid in South Africa, spreading messages of love, tolerance and peace, including all races in that band. I'm talking about the band known as Mango Groove with one of their popular hits there, Hellfire. And before that, I played out something from uh, the group known as Musiki Africa featuring Louis Mshana, Jimmy Indy, and uh, Sam Mataore on drums who replaced the late Jethro Shasha. And the track I played out to you is titled Roda. And of course, in the studio, we have Mono Mkundu. Mono. Understanding the dynamics of music in the South African context, we played uh, something jazzy coming through from uh, Ambusiki Africa. We also played uh, Mango Groove, which is Afro pop. We also had uh, Pepe Kale. To what extent has music evolved in Africa? Um, music has evolved uh, basically in the sense of. Um, uh, learning from each other and um, getting ideas from each other because if you notice we are fusing a lot uh, in Zimbabwe we've got a lot of uh, music that is uh, a lot of uh, South African elements and at the moment in South Africa they've got a lot of music that is uh, Zimbabwean elements and other elements if you look at um, Joy Celebration they're now doing many Shona songs and uh, a lot of South African musicians are using South African instrumentalists. For example, if you know the group uh, Worship House, uh, one of their key instrumentalists is uh, Michael Maindere, uh, who is part of Maindere Brothers. And if you listen to their music, it's, you might think it's a Zimbabwean band. And if you listen to another artist by the name of Mufuno Dagada, he won a summer 2013, a summer that's a South African, South African music awards, 2013 or 2014, I don't remember quite clearly. And um, he also used the Zimbabwean musicians, and on that album, I'm also featured. It was a live album recorded in Pretoria. He featured Zimbabwean guitarist by the name of Tari G. Fingers, and um, he also featured uh, Zimbabwean drama by the name of um, Ngoni, Ngoni, I, I've forgotten his name, and I also featured on the album, but I didn't play on the live album, I did my guitars here in Zimbabwe and mm -hmm. sent them to, to South Africa. So, we are learning from each other. Now, you're talking from a Southern African perspective. Have we managed to also explore other parts of Africa? Um, West Africa is very rich in terms of music, in terms of instrument uh, arrangement. Uh, have we also managed to come as, uh, to go up to West Africa and have West Africans appreciating the, appreciated the Southern African sound? Yeah, but I remember uh, Olivier Mtukuz has got a, a duet that he did with uh, Cesaria Evora uh, some other time. And um, also, I worked in my studio with an artist from uh, Burkina Faso here in Zimbabwe. He's a serious percussionist and uh, he plays uh, a type of marimba and a harp. And um, we also have uh, a number of Zimbabwean artists that toured uh, West Africa, uh, artists like Idithu Tonga, Choniso Marairi. So the only sad thing is it was the, 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 those uh, um, gigs were not very well documented here in Zimbabwe, but um, there are a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes. A lot of things happening behind the scenes. Yeah. But why is it that we do not celebrate the African story in that particular instance, really? Um, we still have, uh, of course, we are liberated to Tapari Man, to do Tapari Bob, but we still have 
to my colonial hangover from Pichana, so to Uti, we always feel to some things from the West. Is it colonial hangover or is still within us, really? Because <laughs> <laughs> this whole colonial issue has been, uh, this, uh, has been topical since quarter past seven, really. Oh, ah, well, I, I didn't know. <laughs> but um, we still have people who have that uh, mentality. Yungu Fungati, things from the West um, are better. Um, Tangori kama yeye kuti kanto la deliverance na amsha ndumu zote ni maprofita kwa wana ndumu kwa pamoja zote mwa mwa anointing oil zao tuke tabu. Well now uh, the time is nine o'clock and we give you the news bulletin. We have Mono in the studio.